Good afternoon to you all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you're all good. And it's a spotlight hour that we can actually play. The last four weeks have been, what was it, double shellos and then the Gen 8 stuff. Now we've actually got a shiny to hunt. It's spoink tonight, but it's double catch dust. That's why we're out. Double catch dust you cannot miss out on. So star pieces going down, we're catching everything. Probably going to be the shortest spotlight hour I've ever done. As you know, Charmander was pretty hard to beat. Let's go through some of the niceties of the spotlight hour video. So I have seen 2,877 spoink thus far. We've already got eight shinies of it, including one from Germany from 2019's GoFest. We're currently sat on 355 XL candy, which I am very unlikely to max any spoink at all. In fact, I don't have a hundo spoink itself. I have a hundo grump pig, which we picked up at the very end of Sunday. If you watch the 300k catch video, once we finished filming, the next hundo that appeared as I was about to head home was a hundo grump pig at the top of Ealing Green. So we've got a hundo grump pig, not a hundo spoink. Maybe we can get it today. And not unfortunately, but it's not windy weather. It's a beautiful, sunny, clear day. So sunny weather is in game. I guarantee you next week when it's Baltoy, we will not have sunny weather. <laughs> Spotlight hour has started, and we're going to shiny check a few of them. A few of them, that's the thing. Again, I don't need a ninth, don't need a ninth shiny of this. That's not on the agenda. What it is, is if we can get a hundo that appears. We have just popped down. The reason we're starting in a weird place is we actually went down the road, there was a hundo pseudo wood at which we went and got, which was cool. But we're coming up to this top, well, the bottom cluster. The bottom cluster is always really good. A couple of people out tonight, which is all right, but... I'll do a few shiny checks, and I honestly think it's just going to be a case of a dust grind. I want about 100k dust tonight, because it would be great if I could max out a hundo the Alga again, or a hundo Bagon or something, I don't know. But... Let's go one more check there. Right. Let's see what we can get tonight. One hour later. Right, back home. Yes, I literally didn't film anything else because it was a Stardust grind. That was the priority here. And I wanted to get to 475,000 dust, which is enough to get a Mon from level 20 up to 50. And as we can check out here, if I open up the storage, we got there. We actually managed to get there. I hatched one or two extra eggs, two 5Ks and a 2K, um, but that was pure from catching. So actually we, we ended up gaining about 120 to 130,000 dust. Triple catch dust obviously had the star piece down. We had a bit of weather boosted Mons action as well. We also gained about 90 XL candy for Spoink. And if we check in the Pokedex, 3,208 seen. And we are started on what, 28? 77 or so, but that's all good. What we wanted to be able to do at the end of this video is max a Mon, and I can bring this up, this second 100% DR. We got one done already. This one can now go to level 50 as well. We got the XL, we've got the Stardust finally. Let's send it up. Yes. Nice. I, I love maxing stuff. Maxing stuff, it feels so rewarding. Switch over the tags. Beautiful stuff. And our top tier, now the top tier is looking pretty sick now, which is excellent. Um, but we're going to conclude the video here. So let me know, of course, in the comments how your spotlight hour went. Did you go for the dust grind like me, or did you actually need a shiny spoink? If so, let me know if you got one. We didn't get a shiny. Nobody in our group got a shiny. But spoink has already had, it was the f second ever spotlight hour way back in 2020. In fact, I'll have the link if you click the eye at the top of the screen you can see the original Spoink Spotlight Hour where we did get a shiny. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on so you don't miss any uploads or live streams. And of course, smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Raid Hour live streams are making a comeback to the channel. We will be live tomorrow for Lugia's final Raid Hour, so definitely tune in for that. We'll be going live at about 5.30 BST. British summertime. Come and join. We'll have the raid invites being dished back out again because I'm re I'm satisfied with how Niantic are approaching things now. So I feel like, yes, we can bring back the raid hour live streams. We can bring back the remote raids, which I'm looking forward to. Lugia shiny. And then there are going to be three raid hour live streams over the course of the rest of the month for the shiny leak trio, which is going to be sick. New shiny legendaries to chase. And on that note, I'll see you all tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Do take care.